Good morning to you and welcome to our Friday morning prayers in the villages of the Cookhams. Today we read some verses from John's seventh chapter. The first two verses, the tenth, and then from verse 25 to 30. This selected text concentrates on Jesus's frustration that despite his teaching, even though he was known to people, both locals and leaders in Jerusalem, and they knew where he was from, they did not recognize him as the promised one, Messiah. The Jewish authorities apparently thought that the Messiah would appear as from nowhere, and they had visions of an all-powerful leader leading like the warrior King David, who would rid them of the Roman occupants of their land. Accordingly, they saw Jesus as an imposter, a blasphemer, and their only verdict on him for those crimes was death. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea, because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the festival of booths was near. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, but as it were in secret. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking open, openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from, but when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him because his hour had not yet come. This is the word of the Lord. Our Gospel reading tells us of Jesus going up to Jerusalem for one of the big Jewish feasts, that of the festival of booths called Sukkot, the Jewish holiday that follows five days after Yom Kippur. It celebrates the years the Jews spent in the desert on the way to the promised land and the way God protected them in that wilderness. When we ourselves are bewildered, as we sometimes are by our faith, it is comforting to recall Moses reassuring the Israelites in his final words. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath you are the everlasting arms. Now, Jesus, because he knew that the Jewish authorities might try to arrest and kill him, he decided to go to that festival incognito because, as John reports, his hour had not yet come. He had not yet completed his mission on earth. Thus, we have a further four chapters of John's record of Jesus's ministry before he enters Jerusalem in triumph on a donkey on what we call Palm Sunday. Amen. And so let us pray. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections, affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and varied changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, 
now and forever. Amen. And now a prayer from Christian Aid for the people of Ukraine. God of all people and nations, creator of all things, show us the way of peace that is your overwhelming presence. We hold before you the people of Ukraine, every child and every adult. We cry out to you for peace. Protect those whose only desire and des who only desire and deserve to live in security and safety. Comfort those who fear for their lives and the lives of their loved ones. Be with those who are bereaved. Change the hearts of those set on violence and aggression and fill leaders with the compassion and wisdom that leads to peace. Kindle again in us a love of our neighbour and a passion for justice to prevail and a renewed recognition that we all play a part in peace. Creator of all, hear our prayer and bring us peace. Amen. And now, as our Saviour Christ taught us, we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we close as we ask for God's blessing. We pray that the Lord will bless us and keep us, that the Lord will make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us, that the Lord will turn his face towards us and give us his peace this day and always. Amen. So farewell for today and remembering the sick and the dying, those who mourn, Let's try and do our bit, however small, however large, to relieve the suffering of others. Farewell for today.